at a time when Nigerians are very angry. The worst we can do to ourselves is to allow those who infringe on our laws to get away with their infractions. And we've said here in the last few days that, yes, Nigerians are going through a lot. Mm. Yes, a lot has to change in the management of our economy. Yes, we need to strengthen our currency. It is not in a good place at this time. We know, we know that. Mm. We know that people are hungry and therefore they are angry. But some Nigerians have taken it upon themselves to worsen the misery that we find ourselves in. As long as they can make money, they don't care. And they will join others <coughs> in saying that the government is terrible. Yeah. I always say that if you do, so the people who criticize the government, who say, ah, this government is terrible. Some of them have even lost their, 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 their humanism. There's no humanism in a lot of them. Because if you have humanism, for example, why would you choose to, to hike, hike prices of food items, especially in the holy month of Ramadan? Mm. Okay. Why would you do that? Okay. And a good number of those doing that are Muslim. Yeah. Some of them are, <laughs> are fasting. During the Ramadan, they fast. But that's the time when they, they choose to inflate the price of sugar, inflate the price of fruits, inflate the price of millets, mm. and uh, cocoa that people... Uh, arbitrarily. Senselessly. I've, I've had governors plead that in this holy month, don't do it. But they believe, ah, at this time, people will buy a lot of oranges, people yeah. will buy a lot of apples, Fruits. then they will... Yeah. Let the price. People whose line of business have no relationship with the dollar. We'll take advantage. Day two, uh, somebody <coughs> called me today to say tomato, that a bulb of tomato mm. was being sold in Shagam at the rate of 100 naira. Just one bulb. Sizable, perhaps. I don't even know the size of it. <laughs> So, normally in the dry season, tomatoes are cheaper. But okay, okay. Yes, they are cheaper because it's in the rainy the yield, season. Yeah. At the peak of the rainy season, you don't, yeah. it's usually costlier. But now, people are trying to make money by any means possible. So, when they tell you, oh, it's because of the dollar, what has the dollar got to do with tomatoes? It's, it's grown air. Uh, we have a, a very long tomato belt in our country. So how, what, what are we talking about? It's uh, not uh, everything, uh, it's, not, it's not everything it's not, that you can link to the dollar in terms of the pricing. So in this case, what they, what they said is, okay, the price list, I mean the price tag indicates a different price yeah. to what they actually charge people. So you can sense that because it's a big department store. I, I go there a lot when I go to Abuja. It's very big. Perhaps they've not had enough time to go around change the price tag on every item that they sell, that they sell. But they've chosen to make people pay higher than what what should. Yes, perhaps in the uh, season of the dollar going up and all that, they are trying to make sure that they increase the, the go and increase the price yeah. of everything that they are selling. But they've not gone around. So with the, with the price tax saying something different, you have no right, according to the law, to make people pay higher than what you have what as the price tax. Stipulated, yeah. 